and welcome to wanna be a chef today we are going to see gluten free chocolate brownie so for that we need 225 grams of chocolate i have taken dark chocolate as well as the milk chocolate so this is of 225 grams so we need 3 4 cups of sugar this is normal granulated sugar we need 6 tablespoons of butter this is unsalted and it's at room temperature 3 tablespoons of corn starch we are taking corn starch because this is gluten free and uh, it helps in binding the brownie so we are taking 3 tablespoons of corn starch 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence 2 eggs at room temperature 1 4 teaspoon of salt and 1 tablespoon of cocoa powder in a microwave safe bowl and I'm going to melt this butter here but you can do it on a store top also so I'm taking 6 tablespoons of butter in a microwave safe bowl so our butter has melted nicely to this we are going to add our 3 4 cups of sugar and we are going to mix it really well and then we are going to add in our chocolate that is the 225 grams of chocolate what we have chopped and kept it so we are going to add everything together and we are going to mix it until the chocolate has been melted you can do this on a stove top also until the chocolate is melted I am going to again keep it in the microwave for 30 seconds to melt the chocolate but when you are doing it on a stove top you have to do it on a double boiler so we have melted the chocolate in the microwave we are going to give a nice mix and we are going to let this sit for at least 2 minutes until the temperature of the chocolate comes down a little just give a nice mix to everything so that you don't see any chocolate chunks here if you see any chocolate chunks in this then you have to do it again I mean you have to melt or put this in microwave or on a stove top once again until the chocolate and the sugar is completely well combined together so now we are going to just let this sit for 5 minutes because the chocolate will melt automatically with the heat of the sugar as well as the chocolate what we have and butter after 5 minutes I am using a hand mixer here you can use a hand whisk but uh, hand mixer will take lesser time I am using the hand mixer and I am going to beat this for at least 2 minutes after beating for 2 minutes I am just going to scrape the sides and to this we are going to add in the eggs one at a time and we are going to blend it or mix it every time we add in the egg this goes the first egg and while adding the second egg we are going to add in our vanilla essence or extract whatever you have been using so we are going to mix this once again to add in our second egg make sure that your eggs are at room temperature that makes your batter light and fluffy and every time you make any cake of mine when I recommend it to be at room temperature just use it at room temperature to this we are going to add in 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence if you don't like vanilla essence flavor you can add chocolate essence also so I am just going to whisk this again until it is well combined and you don't see any sugar granules this might take around 5 minutes to our chocolate mixture next we are going to add in all the dry ingredients that is the corn flour or corn starch what we have 3 tablespoons of corn flour 1 4 teaspoon of salt next we are going to add in 1 tablespoon of cocoa powder and we are going to mix this using the spatula first then we are going to use the hand blender to see to it that we don't have any lumps in our mixture so now I am going to use the hand mixer and I am going to blend this for around 2 minutes or until we have a nice smooth texture. So now we are going to use this. Our brownie batter is now ready. We are going to put this in a greased and lined baking tray and we are going to bake this at 180 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. I have greased and lined a square baking pan here. So we are going to put this in this pan and we are going to bake this as I mentioned on a preheated 180 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean our chocolate brownie gluten free chocolate brownie is just out of the oven I have inserted a skewer you can see that and it has come out clean that means it is baked perfectly so for you I am just showing you baked perfectly so we are going to let this cool down in the tin for 10 to 15 minutes then we are going to demold it 
and I'm going to show you the inside or texture of the gluten free chocolate brownie here. Brownie was cooling in the tin for about 10 to 15 minutes here. Now we are going to take or cut the piece. I'm using a butter knife here. If you have a normal knife, then you can do it. Just going to make the piece out of it. I'm going to show you the texture of the cake. See that on top it is all browned and it is like a cracks you can see which is just like brownie and from inside it is moist and gooey so this is a good chocolate gluten free chocolate brownie recipe i hope you like this video subscribe to my youtube channel for such interesting and easy recipes you can also visit me on my facebook page which is given in the description box thank you and keep watching